Hi, I'm Tom Alter. You might just possibly know me as a <clears throat> veteran television stage and film actor. And I try to make imaginary characters become real. But today, today we're going to talk about real life and the challenges that real life places before us. I was born right here in Masuri and I spent my entire youth playing cricket here and running at full speed up and down these very pathways. And as I did so, I learned something very important. That the pathways of life can also change course, like it or not. And just as important as it is to accelerate when the going is good, it is equally important to know when to change gears. When to apply the brakes at just the right moment when the need arises. I've been a cricket commentator, a cricket writer, and I've had the joy and privilege of captaining the film industry's best cricket team, MCC. Cricket has taught me many things, but the most important thing that cricket has taught me is this, that it ain't over until it's over. Now I know that you might say that when the chips are down, this is just an empty claim. But as they say, when the going gets tough, than the tough get going. So what if I were to introduce you to someone in these tough times who has come back from much worse, in fact, from the impossible? This is the story of an amazing young Turk, truly destiny's child, a man who could destroy records and reputations with casual disdain. If you treat him with respect, he wins gracefully. But woe betide the foe who dares to provoke him, a Stuart Broad. Five! Last ball of the inning. Six sixes and an over. Ah. Ah, how's that? Not bad, huh? but back to our hero. Six consecutive sixes. A 50 and 12 ball, still the fastest 50 in the history of T20 World Cup and the most man of the series awards in limited over cricket and still counting. That is Yuv Raj Singh. Sweeps, four more. Going again, then again, this could be six more. It's going again. Like all great champions, Yuv Raj learned to deal with adversities early in his career. He took Lessons from defeat, he saw shortcomings in victory. He overcame drops in form and illness and criticism. In fact, he overcame everything that was thrown up at him. As he and Team India prepared single-mindedly for the World Cup of 2011. He's got that too, named it to the offside. And it's an emphatic win for India. Yuvraj Singh finishes things in off and India into the semi-final of the World Cup. Yuvraj began with clear intent and purpose. And then, then the unthinkable. A champion athlete coughing up blood, gasping for breath on the pitch. Clearly something was terribly wrong. Perturbed and perplexed. Yuvraj had a rare premonition on the eve of the World Cup final. World Cup ke final ke pehli wali raat, wo mere paas aaya aur bola nitin yaar neend nahi aa rahi hai. Main bola kyun? To wo bole ki yaar kal World Cup final hai aur kal bhagwan mere ko ek hi bhagwan se ek hi prarthna hai ki mere ko World Cup de de aur fir aapko jo lena hai meri jaan leni hai to meri jaan bhi le sakte hai par kal mere ko World Cup de de. If you ever doubted the belief that it ain't over till it's over. Then, this is where the real story begins. At a time when mere mortals would have perished, Yuvraj chose that very moment to transform himself from a cricketing superstar into an immortal legend. His stamina had dropped alarmingly and this hampered his, his running between the wickets and his, his fielding. And when all the great experts of Indian cricket began to doubt him, Yuvraj reinvented himself. 
and he was reborn as a lethal slow bowler. And the fact that he won the World Cup Man of the Tournament Award as a batting all-arounder is the stuff for cricket law. And we're all very happy for him, we're very happy as a team. It's just, I mean, no words to express. And this man here, yeah, I told him a long time back, you know, when, I was, uh, when he was going through a rough phase, he's going to do it, he's going to win the cup for us. Man of the match four times away. Yeah, it's, it's been an unbelievable journey. There have been some wonderful uh, individual performances over the last six weeks, but one performance that stands out right through this tournament, it's when Yuvraj Singh of India. Having accomplished his mission, Yuvraj went for the much-delayed medical tests. That's when the cruel truth struck, like a bolt of lightning. The sea word has always had a very special place in Yuvraj's life. A Chandigarh lad, born to play cricket, driven to win the cup, and now up against life's biggest challenge. The biggest sea of them all, cancer. I couldn't just believe it that a guy like me would have cancer. I'm gonna go through this and... Be a stronger person. And... Uh, come back and play for India. Faced with a real threat to his life, with the eternal third umpire ready to give him out, Yuvraj and his core group did not give up. They fought back. And how? Determined to regain his lost glory, Yuvraj realized that he needed a whole new approach. Diagnosis, treatment, struggle, survival, and then return. In the during the UV time, the UV time was still there. If I think about it, it's going to be wrong. It's such a bad situation, such a young, such a smart girl, and it was going to be कि कुछ खाना अंदर नहीं रह पाता था मुंह में छाले हुए हुए थे बुखार चढ़ता रहता था दर्द होता रहता था पूरी बॉडी में और कभी कभी तो कीमोथेरेपी जब खत्म होती थी तो उसको हॉस्पिटल से लिटरली उठा के कंधों पे घर लाना पड़ता था दिस वाज नॉट ए यूनी डायमेंशनल चैलेंज दिस डिमांडेड अ होल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विद न्यू चॉइसेस न्यू डिसीजंस एंड अ होल न्यू मैट्रिक्स up until now, the C word had driven Yuvraj's life. But with this new matrix, he realized the importance of the S word. Sustain, strategize, and succeed. Yuvraj could sustain life where others would have perished. Year after year of hard work, year after year of playing cricket at the very highest level, hour after hour of tortuous exercise and his, and his fighting spirit, made Yuvraj much more resilient than the average man. And he could sustain his self-belief. He had his own accomplishments to inspire him. And above all, he could sustain the will to return. In spite of the most excruciating pain of chemotherapy, in spite of reaching the lowest of the low. What is pain, mother? There is nothing as pain. <laughs> pain? What is pain? No pain, no gain. After sustaining game strategy, Yuvraj had to strategize a completely new and until now unfamiliar approach to life. The problem was defined and now the need was to examine all possible solutions, to weigh all options and then then to choose the best course possible. Banda share hai, aur wo share baaton se nahi hota hai, wo karke hota hai. Wo cricket field pe jo karta hai, wo alag hai. 
جو لائف کی جنگ ہے وہ الگ ہے ٹریٹمنٹ واز اونلی ون پارٹ آف دا اسٹریٹجی دی ادر اینڈ موسٹ امپورٹنٹ پارٹ واز مینیجنگ ہز مائنڈ دے سی دیٹ پین از انیویٹیبل بٹ سفرنگ از آپشن Yuvraj chose to remain positive and in high spirits. And the next strategy was recovery. Gradually finding his feet, regaining his coordination, and with expert advice, wise decisions, and oodles of patience and confidence, Yuvraj soon discovered that he was far more resilient than even he had ever imagined. And finally, the day arrived when the treatment ended and the comeback began. No more operations. Congratulations. Thank you. But when you rise up from the pit, you cannot be 100% right away. Monitored by specialists and experts and followed by crores and crores of his fans, Yuvraj began to chalk out his comeback strategy. Yuvraj set a demanding target for himself to surpass even the World Cup triumph. New schedules were drawn up, factoring in the prevailing realities. And then the stamina, the ability began to return. And now we come to Yuvraj's final S, or rather his first one, success. As they say, form is... Temporary, but class is eternal. Yuvraj's comeback to serious cricket, to international cricket, is not a miracle. It's not some Bollywood flick. It is as real as it can be. His decision to sustain His ability to strategize was fired by his passion to succeed. This is not just Yuvraj's story. This is the story of life. And the lessons that Yuvraj learned are lessons for all of us who never want to give up. When things don't go your way, Change your way. And when new challenges spring up, create a new matrix. All-encompassing, all-inclusive. And explore all possible options before deciding upon the best available course of action. Sustain your leadership by sustaining your commitment, your drive, your passion for winning. Strategize your new road map. Redefine your vision. Initiate new ideas. Drop functions that are no longer working. And always remain positive. Remember, you are only as good as you think you are. Finally, focus on success even more than before. The truth is, where others struggle to survive, winners succeed and thrive. Life will ask questions, answer them. Life will challenge you, face it head on. Sure, there will be tough times, but they will last only as long as you let them. So go on, go out and play, play hard and get back to your peak form with the new matrix. Sustain, strategize and succeed. Sam!